Hi, I'm Teddy Burrish, your Google Workspace and Gmail strategist, and this is the question I'm going to answer today. How do I upload a photo from my laptop to Google Drive and then be able to use it? Before I answer this question, hit that subscribe button. I got a lot more videos coming. Before you can get started on uploading documents into your Google Drive, you've got to first be logged into your email. And here you see I'm logged into my, you know, uh, Burris Consulting at Gmail account, which is the account I use for these tests. And then, you know, if you're not in Drive, then you can click on these three nine dots right here. And on the nine dots, you can find Drive right there and you can open up Drive. Now, if you haven't been using Drive much, then you may not have it set up as well as you would like it to be set up. Here's a recommendation. Create folders within your Drive so that you have specific places to put specific documents or document types. And the way you create a new folder is pretty easy. You click on Drive, you see you have the top level. Then you click on new and then you click folder and I can create a folder. I'm going to do a photo, upload a photo, photos. So I'm just going to create a folder called photos. So you can see now under drive, I have a folder called photos. Now I can create other ones as well. I can create another folder if I want to, if I want to create another folder and I can call this a resume samples and create that. And you can see that's, again, it's under the, 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 the main place, Drive, and then there's Photos and Resume, which are folders that are alongside each other. Now, like, by the way, I can go in here if I want to. I can create another folder within, um, these are test, Resumes. So I'll create that. Now you can see that that is a subfolder of Resumes, which is a folder under my Drive. All right, so there's the photos folder. Oh, by the way, if you discover when you're looking at your, your drive, oh my God, this is out of place. It needs to be move, moved over under test resumes. You can click on it and drag it up here and drop it on test resumes. And then I can do the same thing here. Now see, I'm looking at my drive, which is the root folder, the home homepage. I can grab this one, do the same thing, grab it and drop it on test resumes. And so now, other than these suggested up here, you can see I have nothing else in my root folder called my drive except for photos and resume. But if I go to, go to resumes, there's nothing there but this subfolder. If I go to the subfolder, there's those two documents. All right, so let's go back to the photos. So how do I upload a photo into my drive? Now I've already decided through this little example about creating folders that I want my photo in this folder. So again, I, the, I can be anywhere I want to be now I want to upload an image, new, file, upload. Click on that. Then I make a decision what file I want to upload. See, I think it's this one called new and old. There it is, new tool and old tool. That's the image I want. Make sure it's the image, it's the right name, it's the right dates, and hit open. And you see over here that it uploaded it. And it uploaded it into under photos. So from right here, I can right click on that and I can do lots of things with it. I can rename it and hit OK. You can right click on that and you can see I can open it up for preview. I can open it with a specific tool, share it, get to link. And there's lots of different things I can do with it right here, including remove it or download it again, maybe to another computer. So there's your file, pretty easy to do. Now the way you would be able to use it is a couple different ways. One is I can again right click on this and I can share it. So when I share it, then I can make a decision who can see it. So right now it's restricted, only, pe only people added can access it. But I can change that, anyone with the link and I can make it totally public. Anyone on the internet with the link to this can get to this file. So I copy the link. Now I'll go to an incognito window, which means it's not me. I'll paste the link, hit enter. 
and there's the image. So I can view it. Now, just so you know, the other cool thing about this now is that now that I've made this shareable, I can go to now show it to you that under shares, anyone with a link. So I can copy this link. I can put it on a web page. I can put it in a blog post. I can use it on LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, wherever I want to. I can share that link to that document and it's accessible to anybody publicly because viewers just because anyone on the internet with this link can view it. Can't edit it, but they can view it. I'm Teddy Burris, your Google Workspace and Gmail strategist trainer, and I hope this idea about how to upload photos or documents to your Google Drive and use them is helpful for you.